I'm a Dixie I. I sing the song, Are You From Dixie? I carry these cards around, and it's a uniting thing, you know, that was actually originated here by Roy and DeFury. And so, uh, to me, this is a much to do about nothing, because I'm tired of people coming from outside of the area and bringing their prejudices and hates and dislikes and trying to throw it on us because that's never what Dixie was all about. The, the term Dixie is a place. Uh, it, it can be in Alabama, it can be in Georgia, it can be in any, anywhere. And of course those early settlers came here to, to get away from the things that, that a lot of these other people are bringing up that are, are contrary to this. Dixie is a place that we're all proud of. The people that have graduated from this place have gone on to great heights and continue to do so. But it's a uniting factor from here, and the community has always been in support of it. And if it doesn't have the name Dixie, you'll find us going down to virgin paths, not converging. Um, have you heard much from either side? Uh, of course, there are strong feelings on both yeah. sides of the equation. Um, has any part of it stuck out to you at all? Um, yeah, yeah. So there's, I mean, there's, there's a large contingency that obviously want Dixie to remain the name. Uh, it, it has a lot of heritage, a lot of meaning for them, uh, and it means something dear to them. Uh, on the opposite side, um, there are a lot of students that see it as a hindrance uh, for themselves, for the institution, and they see a lot of the negative connotations and negative uh, semblances uh, that Dixie had in the past. The main question is, what does the name Dixie mean to you? It's everything we, it's our heritage, it's what we've, you know, you grew up seeing we love the dear Dixie school, you know, you grew up with the D on the hillside, Dixie Rock, the, the sugar loaf as it is, um, it's just who we are and down here, we're the Dixie of, the, of Utah, of southern Utah, it's so important to us and then to hear them say it's racist and stuff like that, like I never would even have thought that it was racist, I remember the statue that got taken away, it's we went over when I was in elementary school, and they showed us it, and they read the poem, and I thought it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen in my life. I never thought anything racist about it. I never thought anything were oppressing anybody. I never thought any of that. And then to all of a sudden hear that, that who we are is racist and what we do, and to hear things like that, and I was just, and this might be a little more than you were asking, but I, like I wore, I lived in New York for a while, in, in Brooklyn, in parts that probably most, uh, we love to say white people would not want to go. Um, and I wore my Dixie, Dixie Rebel shirt. I mean, it was big, say it loud, say it proud. It said Dixie across the top, and we'd play, go to the projects and play basketball. And no one ever, ever said anything about it. And they would have, and you would have known. If it was offensive, I wouldn't be here today. And one of the questions that's come from out of this is what exactly is the Dixie spirit? The Dixie spirit is what's, what's in our hearts, you know, that's what it is. And Rowan de Fury was the Dixie spirit through music. And, you know, the thing is with the Dixie spirit is emphasis on the individual. You know, we are all one entity, but there's an individuality of the Dixie spirit. And it's something that isn't, it isn't something you can just pull out of the air. It's something that actually comes into your heart. And having been in the meeting, uh, from what you've heard and so forth, what do you think the, uh, the name itself, Dixie, and all that uh, comes with, how important is that to the community? Oh, it's very important. Uh, we are Utah's Dixie. And uh, I came during the period of time when William DeFure was actively uh, recognizing Dixie as a great uh, name for a great community. <laughs>